everyone, it's Robert and E Chip. We're making a chicken trailer. Okay. I guess. Chicken I don't, tractor. A chicken tractor trailer. But anyway, we're going to try to uh, protect our chickens more from whatever killed the last chickens. We think this system may be better because one thing we notice about the first chickens is that they only occupied one corner of the yard under a tree and they didn't really do any scratching or moving around or anything and I don't think we were feeding them too much where they didn't have an appetite for it that doesn't do anything so hopefully this way it'll give us better control over where they are and where they can range and run and we can move the tractor where we want if we want them to scratch in that area or something like that that'll be good so and we don't have to have that giant netting all over the backyard which is collecting leaves yeah so mm -hmm. we got to take this stuff down and get the new thing built Come along. Okay, everyone, this is our covered wagon. We're going to take it to contentment. I'm just kidding. This is our, well, yeah, but this is our chicken tractor trailer. So you can see we put a frame, 10 feet long rails, and then we took four pieces of PVC pipe, put screws down in there in the rails, rounded them over. Then we just wire chicken wire to the top. That way, nothing can get in and get our chickens, and they still have a little bit of room. And we can come move this every day or two or whatever. Right back here, you can see the wheels. Then we have these two open spaces we still have to put some chicken wire on, but we're out of staples. Then we have a in the back. This is our access panel here. And you just turn this, well, like such. You can pull it open, and that's where you put the... Uh, food and water in. We still have access to the top. The lid can open up right here like this, but nothing can get in and get them. We can move it easily around the yard. And that way they can scratch more and maybe they'll do a better job at eating bugs and stuff than they were doing before. Right here, we put a little stick to the door because so all we could do is just slide it open like this and we wouldn't have to get in and out. And we screwed the little uh, galleyway gangplank thing down so it just moves with it. So this is our neat little plan. We did it. A chicken house. A mobile chicken coop. Well, since we killed the last two chickens, we got two more chickens. <laughs> they trusted us with two more. <laughs> I don't know, but we have a better place for them to stay, and I think I'm I'm more comfortable with them. Thank you so much, Jay, for more chickens. Thank you to our friend Jay, uh, our veteran homesteader and off-gridder, who provided two more, graciously provided two more chickens for us. Um, we promise we're going to try real hard not to kill these, Jay. I think that they'll be okay. I really like your idea, Thomas Schmidt, of putting the little hole in the side of the coop deal so we can with uh, the screen yeah, yeah the screen hole and then that way we could go away <laughs> if we had to leave again for a couple of days they'd be safe inside yeah because there's enough room in there for them that's a good idea and uh, Jay thank you also for the idea of um, putting uh, angling some um, mesh or hardware cloth or expanded metal or something like that along the sides of the chicken tractor so an animal can't burrow underneath it, a predator can't burrow underneath it. So 
But anyway, uh, we'll show you the chickens. We'll get them released into the uh, chicken tractor and let's go.